Overseas now to Nepal, where more survivors were rescued today, eight days after that country's devastating earthquake. Officials say three people, including a 101-year-old man, were pulled alive from the rubble in one village and taken to a military hospital for treatment. A dose of good news in a disaster that has claimed the lives of more than 7,200 people and left more than 14,000 injured. That toll could climb as the recovery effort shifts to areas farther from the epicenter. NBC's Ian Williams reports tonight from one of those remote areas. Supplies are at last getting through to the shaken town of Darding, close to the epicenter. So we decided to press on. The damage to the town of Darding seems pretty patchy and they do appear to be coping. So we're heading into the hills above. Four hours from Kathmandu, the roads into the mountains are barely passable, as we travelled with a team of American doctors in search of villages still in need of help. We reached Haitia, a village of a thousand people, where we found almost every building destroyed. Let's move all the drugs and the pharmacy closer to where we are. How did that happen? Paul Arbach. Does that hurt? Head of emergency medicine at Stanford. Say ah. Uh. Ah. And Luan Freer, medical director at Yellowstone National Park, both here with the International Medical Corps. Is it up here? They quickly discover that in spite of the massive damage, nobody died here. Incredibly, there were only 30 injuries, as most were working in the fields when the quake struck. We're seeing a few small items related to the earthquake itself, some small wounds. Um, the major um, injuries were all evacuated. But behind the brave faces, this is a community still in shock. Heavy overlay of stress, uh, yeah, stress, and, uh, and, and no relief in sight for some of these folks. The pattern the doctors are finding in these more remote villages is of massive destruction, but a community more or less intact but facing huge challenges in the weeks and months ahead. The most urgent need here is shelter. The monsoon rains just weeks away. Because people have been living outside, the doctors are already treating respiratory problems and fear the outbreak of waterborne diseases. They plan a base camp in the area from which to push higher into the mountains, where the fate of many more remains uncertain. Ian Williams, NBC News, Darding, Nepal.